another piecewise limit. Here's a function. It behaves like minus x cubed, which would ordinarily look like that, only when x is less than negative 1. So we get this section that looks like a cubic up to, but not including that point. And it behaves like a parabola, which has just slightly different curvature when we're higher than minus 1, meaning to the right of minus 1. They do not say what happens right at negative 1, so the function is undefined there. And then, those little goblins, they ask what is the limit as x goes to negative 1. So it's dangerous to just plug negative 1 into this function because we can't evaluate it at that point. But, good news, we aren't trying to get exactly to that point, we just want to know what happens when we get very close. If we come in from the left side, we're finding the left-hand limit, or you can write it as the limit as x goes to negative 1 from the left. And finally, you can think of this as, here's our mountaineer, and she's walking down this slope, and she's walking right up to the edge of the cliff and hanging her toes off it. And we're going to ask her, what height do you think you'd be at if you crept a tiny bit more to the right? And landed on that point. Well, because we're coming at it from the left where x is lower than negative 1, this function can tell us what she'd say. She'd say minus x cubed equals minus minus 1 equals 1. So our limit coming in from the left is positive 1. And that's not too surprising given the graph. They show us that that seems to be the point where these lines are meeting up. If we come in from the right-hand side, here's another person walking in from the right from higher numbers. What does he think will happen if we get close to negative 1? Well, if we're coming in from above, we use this function. x plus 2 all squared. Whoops, I should have put the negative 1 in right away. So x plus 2 all squared is 1 squared positive 1. So he also says that his curve is headed towards positive 1. That point isn't actually there, but both lines are converging on it. And because both lines are converging on it, these two people agree. Now we can say the two-sided limit does exist. We say the limit as x goes to negative 1 no symbol here because we're talking about the two-sided limit of f of x equals 1. This little blip means that the function is not continuous. You couldn't draw the whole thing without lifting your pen off the paper, but nevertheless the limit can exist just because these two people agree. Neither of them has taken that fatal final step that would land them on this undefined hole. All they know is that standing infinitely close to it, they're both seeing the value 1.